Nothing else but confrontation. City. I'm the Deacon of Doom, and uh, my broadcast partner tonight is none other than the former UCW Zero champion and now regulator, Cassidy O'Brien. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we got Dallas Murdoch over here. He's soon to be the UCW champion once again. Do you understand me? Well, maybe he is. Maybe hey, he... No, 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 maybe. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. I'm sorry, good. sir. Good. I'm sorry. Folks, we're in for a great action-packed hour of live professional wrestling. So without any further ado, let's go up to DJ Fuego in the ring for oh, our first great, match. Great, great, yeah. Fuego. The following match is a tag team match. Coming to the ring first, the tag team of Chase Earl Who? and J.T. Marshall. There they are, folks, J.T. Marshall. He looks to be in shape, that's for sure, and there he is. Team Toothpick, let's go, Team Toothpick. Not Team Toothpick, that's Chase Earl. Who? Chase Earl. Is he from the NASCAR circuit? And I don't want to hear any more redneck jokes, that's his real name. He's from Salt Lake City, Utah. His parents don't love him, do they? I don't know if they love him or not, but he's trying to make a name for himself here in UCW. He's a young kid, Cassidy O'Brien. Yeah, he looks young, he looks young. He looks like he can't hang out here. Well, you were young once yourself. Young Chase Earl. and. And JT Marshall now making their way into the ring. I've never seen these two tag before together, so this ought to be interesting because uh, tonight their opponents, I think, are pretty interesting to say the least. Who are they going against? Who they got? You'll see right here. Let's go up to the ring now and DJ Fuego for their opponents. And their opponents. The tag team of Big Vig and the UCW Zero CEO Stevie Slick. I like that Big Vig guy. I talked to him in the back. He's a, he's a good cat out there. Uh, I don't know about these little twerps in the ring. They're, well, he they're going to get crushed. He goes by Big Vig and Cassidy O'Brien. You got to admit it. He is one big man, weighing in I think at 240 something pounds alongside. CEO Stevie Slick, who I don't think weighs 240 pounds, Cassidy. He wishes, he wishes. Maybe, maybe 140. Maybe he holds weights in those uh, shorts or pants, whatever they're called. Big Vig looks like he means business out here tonight, that's for sure. Maybe, he, I'll, maybe I'll get him to come over here and hang out with you for a minute. I think I want to steer clear of Big Vig, that's for sure. He scares me. All right, all right. He's not very approachable. He's kind of like you. What, what happened to you? Uh, you used to be tough when we used to team together. You ain't well, tough anymore? You know, I, I saw the light, Cassidy O'Brien. No offense against you, but I just felt like my talents could be used a little better here in the broadcast oh, booth. Oh, yeah, give me a break. Oh, no. Please do not do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we've said it before. Some things you can't unsee, and this is one of them. Oh, my. Oh, my. Do we have to call the cops for this? Is this kind of like, you know, that borderline stuff that shouldn't be happening? Something's got to be done. There are children in the ring. There are children in attendance. I don't think that, well, I guess they are in the ring, according to you, Cassidy O'Brien. Of course, talking about Chase Earl and JT Marshall, they both look a lot younger than Stevie Slick. Stevie now in his 50s, believe it or not. And look at the big man now, the security himself. That's Big Vig in the ring. 
I don't know if I were Chase Earl or JT Marshall if I'd want to start off with Big Vig. I wouldn't be very confident in there if I was those guys right now. I'm not confident sitting over here, Cassidy, that's for sure. Looks like it's going to be Stevie Slick who starts off against JT Marshall. Marshall looks like he's a little less concerned now. It's going to be Stevie Slick. Slick, of course, John with the young kid, JT Marshall, both of them now circling the ring. Do we get the morgue ready, the ambulance? What do we need here? We need to get something ready. Start the ambulance up. Get it coming over here because when Big Big gets in there, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to clean house. you got to know about that. And Stevie Slick now taunting the fans, a la Cassidy O'Brien. By the way, last show, Cassidy, I was a little disappointed in the way you berated our fans. I do what I want. They're Mexican-American. Oh, give me. are you going to be compounding me the whole time? Because if you are, I'm just going to punch you in the face Listen, and we're going to end this. I'm just asking you to stop with the green card stuff, the illegal stuff, oh. all right? We're in a very diverse country, Slick. You're going to need church. You're going to need Jesus once you keep running your mouth because uh, you're going to be praying to him. Hopefully I don't beat you down. Nice side headlock by JT Marshall now on Stevie Slick. Stevie Slick trying to fight himself off himself away, excuse me, and Slick's going to use any tactic he can. Watch those fingers because they'll be they'll sink into the eyes of a young opponent like JT Marshall. That's for sure. Marshall now has Stevie Slick on the ground with a nice headlock takeover. I'm pretty sure that ref is the, the little one's friend. Look at him. He looks just like those. He's a little young kid. He's probably going to cheat. I don't know about that. I mean, I, I checked his credentials. He is an, an officially certified referee here in UCW. Two count now on Stevie right, Slick Mr. as he kicks Technical. out. I mean, he's legal. He, the kids, look, believe it or not, I ask him. He's in his 20s, Cassidy. He's legal. The fans aren't. The fans are legal too. We don't. I mean, we don't check people's green cards or <laughs> IDs when they come in. Paradise is legal. She went through the process. What's these guys' problem? Well, I haven't checked Paradise's all right, all card right. either. I don't know. And look at Stevie. No, sir, I'm not. I apologize, sir. Stevie Slick now with a thumb to the eye of JT Marshall in the corner. And this is where Slick's going to start unloading with a nice chop. He did good out there. Good job, Slick. Good job. Keep it up. Now JT Marshall with a chop of his own. Ref, Marshall. get him out of the corner. we got a five count. What happened to ref there, huh? Not quite the chops of Guerrero Azteca, that's for sure. But they do have their effect. Nice well, J.T. Marshall with a nice snap mare on Stevie Slick, and Slick finds himself now in the middle of the ring. Young J.T. Marshall, though, needs to keep his opponent farther away, farther away from Big Vic. I mean, you got to think, Cassidy, that their, their goal, now that they got Stevie Slick in the ring, is to never allow Big Vig to get tagged in. That'd be my strategy. My strategy would be tag Big, Big Vig in, and we could end this boring match. Well, I think Stevie Slick agrees with it because there he is. There's Big Vig. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, and you're seeing the nice. power. Nice. I like it. I like it. Let's you're, do that again. You're seeing the power of Big Vig, ladies and gentlemen. That is for sure. Vig tosses young JT Marshall like a sack of potatoes. And I got to question the logic now of young Chase Earl, Cassidy O'Brien. Yeah, let's tag the little Irwin in. That's uh, smart. I mean, it looked like the kid wanted to get in. Yeah, good good plan. Um, I'm staying on the corner. Dallas is going to handle that if we have to go against him. <laughs> well, I... I'd be in the same boat if I were you. But I'm not scared or anything. Uh, it's just better matchup. Better absolutely. Matchup. I understand, Cassidy. I understand. Now, Big Vic. Oh, with a chop of his Ow. own. Ow. Young Ooh. Chase Earl getting stomped now by Big Vic. Clubbing forearms on the backside of Chase Earl. Cassidy O'Brien, do you feel sorry for the kid at all? No, I feel like this match is over now, though. I think they just about lost every chance. I'm not sure if we're going to see Stevie Slick in the ring again, which is a okay with me, and I think it is with my broadcast partner. That is former UCW Zero champion Cassidy O'Brien, now along with his tag team partner, the Regulators. They're reunited once again, and both of them, I'm sure, want to go for tag team gold here in UCW. And Big Vig now tagging God, in Stevie old. Slick. Slick is getting old. Well, Look at him. He's not in the best shape of his life. I'm not going to lie to you, Cassidy O'Brien. Slick. Why wouldn't you just keep Vig in there? Vig, finish it. That's all we need. Slick now continuing to choke young Chase Earl. And, oh, my goodness gracious. That's legal, right? Where, where does it say in the rule book that ain't legal? I think that is legal, but it's cruel, but fair. That's for sure. Slick now burying that knee, and I don't think this is legal, into the neck of young Chase Earl. And, of course, oh, the referee. There you go. Always by the book. Come on. Listen, I want this thing to be as fair as possible. I'm worried about these two kids, especially if Big Vig gets back in. Stevie Slick with a chop of his own. Now a snap mare of his own on Chase Earl. You are so square nowadays. 
Square. What happened to you? Square. Square. You know a little box? You know, you don't think outside that? You don't go outside that? You're just square. You're Listen, just I've been lame. giving my I've been giving my marching orders. I want my paycheck, Cassidy, okay? I want my paycheck. Yeah. Someday. Slick now unraveling the tape. I don't know if the referee see can tape. see this. I don't think you're seeing it. I don't see tape. He's got something wrapped around the no, neck of young on. Chase Earl. I think uh, Chase Earl's tape's falling off, though. Did you see that? Yeah, his I tape just fell off his wrist. I think that was Stevie Slick's tape, oh, to be quite there you honest go. with there you. you. There Whatever you go. Whatever you say, Cassidy O'Brien, I want no trouble with you tonight. That's for sure. No trouble at all. Stevie Slick now shooting young Chase Earl off. Earl reverses it. Nice hip toss by young Chase Earl. And now JT Marshall coming into the ring. And he puts a nice little arm bar on Stevie Slick. Maybe Slick needs a coach out there. I would have just kept Vig in. That ain't happening to Vig. I would have kept Vig in, too, to be quite honest with you. The less action I see, the better off my tag team usually was back in the day. And that includes when I tagged with you. Great days with Cassidy O'Brien. Nice to have him here beside me today. I have to admit, though, I'm a little scared. He's got a temper, ladies and gentlemen, and we saw it last show. Uh, we'll see what happens. JT Marshall continuing to work the left arm now of Stevie Slick. Slick now working up, and Slick's got to think he's got to find a way to tag Big Vic. I mean, this. He's losing it. He's going to make him lose the match. Absolutely. Of course, if you added the ages together of JT Marshall and Chase Earl, they wouldn't be half the age of Stevie Slick. Yeah, that's true. What are they, like 12, 13? I don't know how old they are. They're older than 12 or 13. They may not look it, but they absolutely are. I'm pretty sure uh, Earl is like 12. Uh, JT is probably like 14 or so. Chase Earl now feeling Stevie Slick's nails digging deep into his eyes. And now Slick, look at the tag, Big Vig. And I don't think Big Vig seems to be eager to get in. All right, he's just kind of hanging out there. Chase Earl again working that chin lock now on Stevie Slick. Slick trying to squirm his way out of it, reaching now for Big Vig. Big Vig looks like he does want the tag now. Well, those two better desperately uh, keep Steve away from Vig. Vig gets in there. I think this thing's done. Looks like Chase Earl now trying to move Stevie Slick away from Big Vig. Good, good ring psychology to set, not, excuse me, not ring, ring tactics. You want to keep Stevie Slick away from Big, Big Vig. Oh, nice rollout by the young kid and a reversal. And Slick now finds himself. Oh. That was a kick to the thigh. Kick to the thigh. Oh, no. Uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. is right, Cassidy O'Brien. Here comes the big man, Big Vig. This is all done right here, all you know, done. You know, we haven't seen a lot of Big Vig. He's only been around in the last month or so, but believe me, when we have seen him, he has inflicted some punishment just like that. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's done. All done. Start the bus. The game is over, ladies and gentlemen. Well, he's picking him up again? Well, that's what happens when these young kids get in here. They think they're men. Have uh, some we're gonna mercy. We're going to find out what men are. Have some mercy, Vig. Have some mercy, my God. Yep, he's done. He's not even moving. Look at that. He's done for. Oh, wait a minute. Big Vig now pushing him off, and he tags Stevie Slick in. What is this? Oh, come on. Building stats. Building stats. That's all that is. All done. Well, oh, you saw that one coming. There's the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, the tag team of Big Vig and UCW Zero CEO, Stevie Slick. Well, it looks like Stevie Slick and Big Vig want to make sure that these young kids know that they were soundly, and they were, soundly defeated tonight on UCW Zero Television. Be sure and check us out. Be sure and check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Big Cassidy, do you do Twitter and all that stuff? I don't even know how to work Twitter. I don't either. I got, I got real problems in life. Folks, we'll be right back, though, with more wrestling action right here in Salt Lake City, Utah.
Mexico. Oh, great. Here we the go. The Durango Kid. Go ahead, Cassidy O'Brien. Does this one have a green card? Challenge your citizenship, if you will. Do we check that? I am not in charge of checking that, but I think he's perfectly legal. Does he wear the mask because he's too ugly to show the real face? Former Ultra X champion here in UCW. I'm not going to even, I'm not going to even acknowledge that comment. Former Ultra X champion, the Durango Kid, Lucha Libre style wrestler. He's a high flyer here in UCW Zero. Another kid, Cassidy, that wants to make a name for himself, and he already has with that one title belt. But tonight he's going to have his hands full against his opponent. That's for sure. Oh, we'll see what he's got. I don't have faith in him. A little blouse he's got on, that's cute. Blouse? Blouse. Girls wear blouses. Exactly, look at that hair. Oh my. And his opponent, accompanied by Bronson. Oh no. I like this Bronson. Kid! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we saw Bronson last week right here on UCW Zero television as Kid Cade clearly interfering and allowing Bronson to get the victory. And tonight, Bronson's going to be in the corner of Cade. Cassidy, thoughts on that? Don't you think it should be a one-on-one -on -one match? Uh, I think it is going to be a one-on-one -on -one match. Bronson's a fair guy. You know, he's going to let him, let him fight it out fair. Does it count as two people because you got that man bear that you're scared of? Folks, I don't know. What, what was that? Are you scared of that man beard? Is that it? You can't even grow a man beard? You know, I just looked into the eyes of Cade when they put that camera on him. I looked through his eyes to one dark soul, Cassidy O'Brien. Former fan favorite Cade, former UCW Zero Heavyweight Champion, Kid Cade. Now, when you stare into those eyes, they look hollow. They look black as he's come under the tutelage of Bronson. And, and I spoke with their therapist, Cassidy O'Brien, talking about Jeremy over at the State Middle Institution. Somehow, he has found a way to let them talk them talk him into letting them wrestle. I don't think they're safe even for our fans here, much less the wrestlers. Fair's fair. Stop discriminating, Deacon. Who do you think's got this one? Well, you know, the deck has clearly been stacked against the young kid, oh. the Durango kid, that's for sure. Looks like it's going to be two-on-one -on -one once again, if you ask me. I think there's two people in the ring. It's one-on-one, -on -one, it sounds like to me. We'll Maybe watch. the ref's making it two-on-one. -on -one. Just watch. You watch. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Bronson is a snake of the grass, to say the least, as he now takes a seat with the fans here in the UCW arena. See, told you. He's just out enjoying the show. That's all that is. The Durango Kid, and now formerly Kid Cade, now Cade with a collar-to-elbow tie-up in the middle of the ring. Cade goes around, now has a nice, what do you call that, Cassidy? That'd be a waist lock, sir. A waist lock, sir. Thank you very much. Just checking your wrestling acumen. How about that for a word? Acumen? Acumen. Look it up. Did you bring out your dictionary for this? Absolutely. I'm going to come up with these cool words say and act smart. I'm just trying to confuse Cassidy O'Brien, folks. That's, sometimes that's not hard to do. Double drop kick, both of them missing, and now the Durango kid backs up, and there you see it. There was Bronson making his presence known. He may not have gotten in the ring, Cassidy O'Brien. He's just hanging out. Bronson's a little lost at times. He doesn't you, know where he's at. You've got to think the Durango kid is worried about Bronson at all times. Nice move by Kid Kate as he holds on to the ropes. Durango Kid, I think, hit his head, ducks the elbow, and now spins Kid Kate around. Looks like he's going to try for a pin, but Kid Kate with a big right hand. Too smart for that, young rook. Well, you know, Kate is a veteran. He's a KG veteran. He's been around UCW for a long time. But look at the Durango Kid with a duck of his own. Nice little flying drop kick. Cassidy, are you impressed with the athletic ability of the Durango Kid? Who's Durango Kid? He's the guy in the ring with a mask, the Lucha Libre style wrestler. Oh, the ugly one. Uh, no. You don't know if he's ugly. He's got a mask on. Oh, I think that's why he wears a mask. Up and over goes the Durango kid. Blocks the right hand by Ow. Cade. Now throws Cade's face right into the turnbuckle, going to the top rope. What's he going to do? Nice crossbody block. And look at. Look, I thought, there I you thought saw it's it. illegal to get off the corners like that. I don't think it's illegal. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. I've seen you why do it, Cassidy. Count? I've seen you do a Cassidy O'Brien for sure. Don't call me out like that. Nice crucifix takedown by the young kid. Two count on Cade. And it looks like Cade's a bit confused. Maybe he underestimated the Durango kid. It's all part of the plan, it looks like. And, all part of the plan. And look at Bronson grabbing the Bronson's foot. Bronson's just talking to him, seeing how he's doing. Maybe asking about his day. Maybe I that's all. I saw him grab the foot. Oh, Flashback by Kid Cade. You, the ref, and Durango kid, all on the same team, right? 
Surprising kick out by the Durango kid after he suffers that flashback, that's for sure. And now Cade beginning to pound those right hands on that covered face of the Durango kid. Mm -hmm. Can't make it uglier. Crowd now chanting for the Durango kid. Cade would now with a series of, of boots to the midsection of the kid, forcing him down to the mat. See, how come he can't be in the corner? Durango's jumping off the corners. He's just hanging out in the corner right there. That's gotta, all. Got to get him off the corner now. Oh. Referee John oh. Godfrey saying get off the corner now. Foot to the neck of the Durango kid. Looks like Kay stretching every rule he can in the rule book tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Did you bring church to these matches? Is that what's happening? Oh, oh, we can't do this now. Can't do that. Folks, I'm going to apologize for my broadcast partner, Cassidy O'Brien. Now, Kay, wait, oh, there it is. Cassidy, do you see that? Right see here what? on our monitor. Would you drop something on the ground again and pick it up and miss that? Bronson was yes, choking Yes, I did. Why away. are you judging me? I'm I not just judging you. I dropped my pen, okay? I was taking notes, dropped my pen. I didn't see anything. DDT by Cade. Well, folks, I saw it all. Bronson reaching into the ring and choking away at the Durango kid. And now, He's just sitting on his chest. That's all it is. A little leg on the chest. Whatever. Just holding him down. That's a choke hold. Oh, choke maneuver, Where, I should say. Where's your instant replay? Cade now showing a side of himself since he's gotten with Bronson. He is, he's a rough and tumble kind of guy. He's a bruiser, the former high flyer now taking matters into his own hands with a series of right hands to the Durango kid. And now the kid blocks it. Right hand of his own to the midsection now of Cade, but Cade delivers that big knee into the midsection of the Durango kid. Got to survive out here. Kid now thrown into the corner. Nice move by the Durango Ow. kid defending himself. And he takes Bronson out. Why is he attacking Bronson? Bronson's just a bystander here. Finally, a little justice. Bronson, folks, you can't see this, but Bronson thinks he's outsmarted the kid. But there's the kid. Might want to start paying attention to the match there, Durango. Well, you got to watch out for oh. Kid Cade, that's for sure. And he takes advantage of the situation. Cade now going to work on the Durango kid on the outside of the ring. Referee John Godfrey trying to get him back into the ring. Cade with a big right boot into the midsection of the Durango kid. Rolls him back in the ring. And now watch this, Cassidy. See, Cade's trying to keep it legal, keep it in the ring. Durango's all trying to get outside there. Well, you got to the upper hand. Oh, clubbing forearm to the cranium of the Durango kid. Is that legal? Are you going to pull that one out too or what? It's cruel, but it is legal, ladies and gentlemen. That's for sure. Kid K taking measuring up now the Durango kid. Feels like he has this match completely in his control. And with Bronson on the outside, it looks like he does. Now throws him into that steel post on the outside. Folks, watch out for Bronson. Cassidy, look at Bronson right now. Pick up your pin. He's just over there trying to find a conversation. That's all. That's all he's doing. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't touch him. See, I told you. He was just looking to talk to somebody. Bronson just needs people to talk to. He needs something, ladies and gentlemen. I oh, think he needs, hell no. I think Jeremy needs to get some more psychological help for both of these two. Well, they go need psychological help. He says me to shut up again. They need a staff to. They need a staff to care for these two. Clearly, they are out of control here in UCW. One, two, three, two count on the Durango kid. I'm surprised he kicked out of that one, Cassidy O'Brien. Showing some pretty good. Testicular fortitude, you might say. I guess. He's putting up a little bit of a fight. Now the Durango kid finds himself on the concrete once again. Bronson is right there, pounding away. Oh, well, that was a little girl hit. I didn't know we had females in the ring today. Oh, come on, Cassidy. Well, they both got the long hair. You know, they're trying to fit the part. I'm surprised they don't wear makeup, too. So tell us a bit more about you and... Uh, you and your new tag team partner, not a new tag team to say the least. The Regulators have been reunited. I'm talking about the toughest SOB in UCW, Dallas Murdoch, and you forming up once again. You're going to make a run for those tag belts against the 801 District? We're going to take over everything. I'm going to show you what real men are all about. Indeed, they are a formidable tag team to say the least. The Regulators together once again right here in UCW. They look to wreak some havoc. But most of all, they look to gain, regain, I might say, those coveted UCW Zero Tag Team belts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Speaking we'll take all the titles. Why not just give us them all? It's better than putting on guys like this. Durango kid with a couple of bolo forearms on Cade. Now throwing Cade in. These are two great athletes, Cassidy O'Brien. You have to admit that. Eh, I've seen better. Nice reversal by Cade. The kid goes into the corner. Elbow by Cade. And Durango now, kid ain't holding up very well. I don't think that kid has it. 
Well, he may or may not have it. He is the former Ultra X champion, a belt that I don't think that you have held, Cassidy O'Brien. I have. I've been a three-time Ultra X champion, actually, sir. I was going to say, correct me if you need to, and obviously you did. Three-time Ultra X champion, Cassidy O'Brien, of course, former UCW Zero Heavyweight champion. Cassidy, you've held every single belt UCW besides the Women's Championship, obviously, that every single had that, well, that you've had the opportunity to have. Yeah, I let you uh, stick with the women's, though. Oh, come on. You can compete there. You're good there. Nice move by the kid as he kicks Bronson off and takes Cade crashing down to the mat. If he can only reach deep down inside now and cover Cade, this one could be over. Two count by referee John. What, do you got a soft spot for this kid? Let him get a beat up. He needs it. Not a soft spot. I try to call it right down the middle. That's what I get paid for now, Cassidy. Oh, you get paid for. You keep it up. I'm going to start taking your checks. Well, Cassidy O'Brien, not very approachable. He has taken my milk money on a few occasions. That is for sure. And now Cade beginning to go to work on the young kid, the masked Mexican superstar, talking about the Durango kid. And now Bronson's going to work on the kid as well. Come on, referee. Does Durango kid for ug stand for ugly kid? Is that what it says in Spanish? Durango does not mean ugly. Paradise, does Durango mean ugly kid? Oh, uh, now he's asking the yeah, expert. Yeah, ugly? Oh. See, I told you that's why he wears a mask. We got Paradise. She probably speaks Spanish. Paradise, of course, as always, sitting right beside Cassidy O'Brien. You guys have been together for a long time now, Cassidy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any comments? Uh, better than the ugly chicks in the arena. Oh, my gosh. I mean, the, there is some real farm animal looking women hang out here. You On know. behalf of UCW management, I want to officially apologize for my broadcast partner, Cassidy O'Brien. No offense. Please, no offense. We welcome you here anytime to the UCW Arena. <laughs> I see him file in. Moo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Next thing I know, you're going to be putting cattle crossings out in front of the UCW Event Center. That is a good idea. Good idea. Look at horse teeth over there in the front row. Horse teeth. Durango Kid now <laughs> trying to make his way up, but Cass, excuse me, Cade now going after the Durango Kid with a series of stomps and now to that knee to the neck. That doesn't look illegal. That looks like taking care of business to me. You've got to wonder, ladies and gentlemen, how much more the Durango kid can take here tonight. He certainly has taken a beating at both, well, at the hands of, of Cade and Bronson. You keep it up. I can. Wait oh, a minute. What is, what is the Wait parrot doing out here? How about I send Dallas in there and he just cleans house? How about that? Speaking Dallas, of big man. You want to go beat them all up? Easy enough? Easy pickings, right? <laughs> and it looks like Guerrero Azteca wants to put an end to this. Oh, that one's illegal. Yeah. Now that guy is illegal. Bronson better run, that's he for has sure. To be. That is for sure. Bronson better run because that's our big man coming out here tonight. And folks, later tonight, that man, Guerrero, oh, roll up. Wait a minute. <laughs> he did it. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. That was cheap. That was cheap. He wasn't even paying attention. Did you see that? Oh, attack from behind. That's what ladies the Ringo kid does. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. I don't believe the it. The Durango kid. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just Aww, witnessed. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if I'd call it a miracle, Cassidy O'Brien, but the Durango kid just beat Cade. I'd call it a miracle. Did you see him hug afterwards? That was pretty cute. Cade is He's beside. speaking Spanish to it. I oh, don't wait, understand wait, wait, what you're saying. Wait, cut the gonna, music. We're going to cut the music. I think Azteca has something he wants to say. I want you to be YouTube crazy nuts against Los Vatos Locos right here, man. What is Los Vatos Locos? Translation, Paradise. What is Los Vatos Locos, Paradise? Idiots is what she tells me. Idiots. I don't think it means that, yeah, ladies I'm sure and that's gentlemen. What she said. Next week, you're going to see it right here on UCW Zero Television. Guerrero Azteca. They're holding hands. That's cute. That's Durango cute. Hold Kid hands, guys. <laughs> against the reign of insane. We'll be right back with more wrestling action right here in Salt Lake City. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah at the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Tickets are $10 for general admission and $3 for kids 6 and under. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucwzero.com or call 801-699-7977. 
And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming to the ring first, accompanied by Sierra Rose, Jason Bravo! He says he hails from the applauditorium. I'm not sure where that is. Cassidy, I think you told me it was his parents' basement at one time. The applauditorium. And he seems to be dragging Sierra Rose against her will. Well, she didn't listen. That's what happens to women that don't listen. Folks, last week. Uh oh. Wait a minute, she's going back in. You know, this may get under the this may get into the psyche of Jason Bravo tonight. You didn't hit her hard enough, Bravo. You didn't hit her hard enough. That's grounds. I'm a I'm a professional clergyman. If I hear of abuse, I am required to call the police. Say no more, Cassidy. Oh, jeez. Do it behind closed doors then so Deacon doesn't snitch. Jason Bravo, of course, a former UCW champion himself, held the belt for quite a long time. He's had his run-ins with, of course, with Zach James. He acquired, it looked like, Sierra Rose. But now, after Jason Bravo brings the crowbar in last week and uses it on Zach James, it looks like Sierra Rose maybe having a change of heart, you might say. Well, Zach James needs quick in his... Um his business out there and uh, stay out of Bravos also, you know. I'm really I'm really excited about this match because, well, Jason Bravo's opponent's a man that I tutored and brought into the business, had under my wing before I retired, Cassie. I'm talking about the Dark Angel. The Dark Angel, oh, great. Be sure and put your hands in the air. We, we want to see jazz hands from the regulators. Spirit fingers, get out of here, please. Ladies and gentlemen, get your hands in the air. Come on, everybody. And wave your hands back and forth like this for UCW Zero. Put your hands down. And any of you idiot wrestler, people at home watching this, you put your hands down too. This looks stupid. Angel! This is a pause in sign language, ladies and gentlemen. Get him up. Get him up. Of course, the regulators oh, yeah. being totally disrespectful. My favorite wrestler in all of UCW Go just shook away. my hand. He just shook my hand. I'm talking about the Dark Angel, Cassidy. Have you ever tried to wrestle without hearing? Stick some earplugs in. Try it once. All right, I'll try it. Then I won't have to listen to these stupid fans, and I won't have to look at him if I uh, cover the eyes, too, because he is hideous. Of course, the Dark Angel is a fan favorite here in UCW Zero. That Guess what, though? Guess what? 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 We found Sasquatch. He's in the going in the ring right now in the green trunks. Please. Sasquatch come on. wears green trunks. Oh, oh man, have I seen it all tonight? You become so disrespectful, Cassidy O'Brien. No, no, when, when? I'm watching my words around you because I know that you have a, well, a quick temper, you might say. You should. I'll be taping your mouth shut and then popping you in it. You understand me? Looks like referee John now trying to use some sign language for, for Utah's only deaf wrestler. I'm talking about the Dark Angel, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a formidable opponent tonight, of course, and Jason Bravo. And you got to wonder if Jason Bravo is not going to take this match too lightly. Doesn't even take his shirt off. It's all right. Of course, the Dark Angel has... Uh, well, he is a rookie. He's only been around. And then here you go. It doesn't help that he is just stupid. He is dumb. Are you calling Jason Bravo dumb? No, the Sasquatch. Why is Jason Bravo wearing a shirt, Cassidy? Right? I have no idea. Maybe maybe he's scared to show off the flab. Nice take. I'm out. in the best shape of my life, though. So I'm in the third best shape of my life, Cassidy O'Brien. Third, Brian. Best, third shape. best shape of my life, but I, I hope to be in the best shape of my life in about a week. About a week. Well, Sasquatch doesn't take care of himself, as you can tell. He's just big and ugly. Dark Angel, he is strong as an ox, ladies and gentlemen. That is for sure. Now Jason Bravo finding himself getting slapped in the head by the Dark Angel. Bravo gets a bit of medicine himself. He's just like, I'll come out of the woods and I'll get in that ring, put green tights on, I'm in. Come out of the woods? Yeah, it's Sasquatch, man. That sounds racist. Oh, come on, come on. That'd be uh, a little bit different thing. Jason Bravo now finds himself on the concrete, still wearing that shirt, interestingly enough. The Dark Angel has got a smile on his face. Folks, you can't see it. It's not on your TV screen, but he's proud of his work tonight. Referee John now trying to get the Dark Angel back. Bravo taking his time. Wise veteran, I might say. Take a break, Wait, Bravo. Get some water, you know, chill out. He's got 10 seconds, that's for sure. 
Bravo now slowly, methodically getting back in the ring. And oh, there's the there dark we go. angel. He won't even let him get in the ring. How are we supposed to have a match when he won't let him get in the ring? The angel wants no to wrestle. explain the rules to him? Oh, the angel's getting out of the ring. I don't think that Jason Bravo sees it. Oh, a nice forearm by the dark angel. Uh, that's illegal. Let's get that in the ring, ref. I don't think a forearm's illegal. Uh, they're fighting on the outside. Bravo has 10 seconds, and Sasquatch just came over there and started attacking him. I'd appreciate it if you didn't call him Sasquatch. What's the problem? I feel like it's racist. His wrestling name is the Dark Angel. Dark what? The Dark Angel. Why he is he an angel? He doesn't look like an angel. He looks like an uncoordinated Sasquatch. Uncoordinated. I don't know about that. He's got several victories under his belt, but there. Yeah. Oh, and Jason Bravo. A well, low he started blow. it. He started it. A low blow. Shouldn't have attacked him on the outside. Give him his time. Do you think Jason Bravo didn't take his shirt off because he felt like this was going to be pretty easy pickings tonight, Cassidy? Maybe, maybe. Maybe he's just underestimating uh, him. Maybe he's got a sunburn or something. I don't know. Jason Bravo now going to work on the Dark Angel. Nope, Dark Angel's done. I think he quit. Did you see that? He was slapping the mat. He was tapping out. He was done. I don't done. think he was tapping out. By the way, by the way no, uh, oh, wait a two count. No sunburn jokes about the Dark Angel, okay? He's deaf and you're blind, apparently. My goodness. <laughs> Bravo now choking away at the Dark Angel. Bravo uses every, every second that he has to break that hold. Is he going for the Bravo combo? Might I be, might be. I One think of the he most is. lethal combos in wrestling. I don't know if I'd call it lethal. Oh, here we go. I mean, I've never been a fan of the Bravo combo. Maybe because I've never been a fan of Jason Bravo. Uh, and Bravo is a big fan of himself. That's all he needs, apparently. Absolutely. From the applauditorium, Bravo thinks he's got it in hand, but the Dark Angel, loose cover. Not a very good cover by Jason Bravo. Where is the applauditorium? Where is that located? The applauditorium. It's, the applauditorium. I, I think it's in his parents' basement, quite frankly. <laughs> his parents' basement. I think it is. Well, you know, sometimes you got to let your, your secrets out. So let's uh, ask Bravo after the match about that. I'm going to call his parents, see if his mom brings him <laughs> milk and cookies every night before he goes to bed. Uh, P maybe PB&J. He looks like a PB&J guy. PB&J kind of guy. <laughs> he may PB&J, but he is taking it to the Dark Angel right now, ladies and gentlemen. The Deacon of Doom alongside my broadcast partner for the evening, the esteemed Cassidy O'Brien, and, of course, the other regulator, Dallas Murdoch, sitting yes, beside him. And the lovely paradise, if I might say that. Don't look at her. I'm not looking. You keep your eyes in front. You understand, Deacon? I know better, believe me. He can Bravo. get knocked out here about two seconds. You can hear the high shrieking screams now of the Dark Angel. See, I told you he's Sasquatch. You hear those noises? He's Sasquatch. Wait a minute. The Dark Angel uh -oh. now. Maybe he has a few chops of his own. He's taking that shirt off of Jason Bravo. Rip he, it off, Angel. He means business now. Yes. See, they're applauding. They like Bravo. Did you see the applauds? And I, then Jazz Fingers comes out. I, oh, I, that's stupid. I love Jazz Hands. It's a way to be inclusive here in UCW. We're yeah, all about being the inclusive. The two boyfriends in the front row like jazz hands, too. You don't know that they're boyfriends. Yeah, look how close they're sitting. They don't even move the leave room for Jesus like you'd like. Oh, the jazz hands go up. Here comes the big suplex by the Dark Angel. That was a big suplex. Jason Bravo is a big man, to say the least, but the suplex is not going to put him out, ladies and gentlemen. He's been in a few battles, a few wars here in UCW. I'd do better than that, rookie. And now the Dark Angel stalking Jason Bravo. He's punching away. Three, four, five, Get six. Get him out of the corner. Yeah. Jazz hands are up. And the Dark Angel unloading now on Jason Bravo, who looks a bit confused, but there is that veteran character in Jason Bravo. Big boot to the side of the head of the Dark Angel. See what happens when you cheat. You get him in the corner. Oh, it's five count, but he's going for ten. It looked like Bravo took that took that left leg out of the Dark Angel with that clip. That is legal, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's going on going to work. He's done for. He's done. Can't going, handle it. Going to work on that left leg. Oh, and Bravo does jazz hands of a Oh my god. Disrespectful. Come on, Jason Bravo. If you can't hang with the big boys, don't get in with the big boys. Referee John counts to two and Bravo looks incredulous go he, back to the forest sasquatch i said incredulous cassidy oh, you ever heard sorry. that word incredulous? you making stuff up no, now are you up. questioning my intelligence deacon no sir i'm not incredulous though is a word not incredible he looks incredulous all right well you see how he's blown out his knee i'm yeah. gonna blow out your face here in about two seconds keep it up i apologize sir back to the ring oh and jason bravo taking and wrapping that and 
that knee around the steel post on the outside of the ring. And now Jason Bravo applauding for himself. I don't think the fans think too much of that as the Dark Angel writhes in pain in the middle of the ring. You got to be your own biggest fan out there, huh? Bravo now methodically getting back into the ring. Going after that left leg. Again, good wrestling by Jason Bravo. Attacking that route. left leg. Smart route. You got a weakness, you attack that. You oh. win. But the, the Dark Angel now, you can see he's still favoring that left leg, but he delivers a clothesline. Jason Bravo getting back up again. The Dark Angel fighting with every ounce of strength that he has with another clothesline. And Bravo goes down for a second time here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, what Folks, is Bravo doing? Attack that knee. Get that knee, Bravo. Folks, if you're not here and you're watching this, be sure and come to one of our live events. Oh, no, he put uh, that backbreaker, but I think he injured that knee again, Cassidy. Well, he's not very smart. Hey, my knee's hurt. Let's do this. That was brilliant right there. Good job, Sasquatch. I'm not sure it has to do with smarts. It's instinct at that point, but he brought Jason Bravo, a big man himself, onto that knee. It hurt Bravo's back, but it did more damage to the, to the Dark Angel's left knee. Yeah, he ain't moving real quick out there. Just took that knee out again. Absolutely. Jason Bravo, he knows what he's doing in the ring. He's been... Oh, he's going right after that left leg again. Oh, Look at that dragon gosh. screw. Is he's, that what that's called? A dra dragon? Dragon screw. This Learn your a, language here, huh? This is a family show, Cassidy O'Brien. Watch your language. <laughs> I'll say what I want. You understand that, Deacon? I don't ha care if this is a family show. I don't care about these people's families. Watch this. Half Boston Crab on nope. the left leg, the injured left leg of the Dark Angel. He's and, tapping, he's done for. And now look at Bravo using the ropes as leverage and the Dark Angel taps out, ladies and gentlemen. All done, all done. I'm a little disappointed, Jason Bravo had to. Ladies had to, and gentlemen, your winner, Jason Bravo! He did what it took to win, that's all that matters. He certainly did. He, always does what it takes to win and most of the time he comes out with a w and folks tonight he came out with a big w here on saturday night in salt lake city as jason bravo demands now that referee john raise his hand much to the chagrin of the fans here as they raise ladies their and gentlemen there. your well, winner by submission jason bravo Sasquatch needs to go back to training, figure this out. He didn't do very well out there. He just got his knee taken out and he was done. Folks, our main event is coming up. It pits the UCW Zero Champion, Martin Casals versus Guerrero Azteca. Two big men in the ring tonight here in Salt Lake City. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah at the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Tickets are $10 for general admission and $3 for kids six and under. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals, leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. All right, who uh, we got coming out here? What the hell is this? Oh, great, Parrot Boy's out. I, don't, I, I wouldn't call him Parrot Boy to his face, Cassidy. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, Cassidy O'Brien has just fallen asleep what? at the mic. Mike, what's going on? What's going on is Guerrero Azteca oh. has now made his way to the ring. Next. Three-time UCW Zero heavyweight champion. You know how I can tell uh, they're a piece of crap in the ring? The fans start cheering for them. That's why I know they're crappy. Azteca has held belts in other promotions as well. He's an accomplished wrestler here in the state of Utah and regionally. Oh, my. All right, Casals is going to come out, get beat up. We're cashing in. Dallas, new champ right here. I'm not sure he's going to get beat up, Cassidy O'Brien. Uh, he always gets beat up. We're talking about Martin Casals. That was a fluke when he got the title. There he is, the champion. 
Martin Casals, ladies and gentlemen. See, he's over there. He's all sweating already. He's scared of Dallas Murdoch. He didn't look scared. Scared. And folks, he is the former WWE Tough Enough superstar, Martin Casals. Go ahead and say it, Cassidy. He didn't win. Uh, he's got nothing. I really thought that Martin Casals would win that competition. Unfortunate injury as Martin Casals jumped out of the ring, broke his ankle. I think it was a cop out. That's what I think. I think he was scared. He couldn't handle the pressure. I'm not sure about that. We have two great competitors in the Watch ring out, tonight. Watch out, Casals. Watch out. Dallas two Murdoch. great competitors. Shut up, Deacon. Yes, sir. Dallas Murdoch sitting at ringside beside Cassidy O'Brien and, and, and Paradise. And it looks this like match is for the UCW Zero Heavyweight Championship. The challenger coming to you from the blue corner, Guerrero Azteca! Mystery illegal Azteca! Oh, come on, he's not illegal. How do you know? He's been wrestling with us for years now. Well, Lamigra's not and doing a good job, are they? Your UCW Zero Heavyweight Champion, Martin Casals! <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen, Martin Casals. He proudly holds that UCW Zero Championship belt. Uh, he is sweaty, isn't he? He's scared. He's he just sweating bullets. Oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, Dallas Murdoch's at ringside, and I can get beat up at any point. Martin Casals, of course, the gold standard here in UCW in the Deacon's opinion. But he's got a great competitor here tonight in Guerrero Azteca, former champion in and of himself. And my colleague is right, Cassidy O'Brien, mentioning that Dallas Murdoch is ringside with us right here, right now. He has the golden certificate. And, folks, at any time, he could turn that certificate into any referee and go after that belt. And become the true champion, not this piece of crap in the ring. I don't know if I'd call him a piece of crap, Cassidy. I would. You've wrestled him before. You know he's Big a Big old pile. Guerrero Azteca now and Martin Casals locking up in the middle of the ring. Azteca with a nice arm ringer of himself sends Martin Casals to one knee. Casals now trying to find a way to reverse this. Let's see what he does. Nice reversal by Casals. Oh, that's Summer cute. Side. That's real cute, Casals. I ain't going to get you the win, though, pal. Guerrero Azteca now with a reversal of his own. Side headlock by Guerrero Azteca. Are they guys just going to dance with each other all night or are they going to hit each other? I don't know, but let me tell you something. When Guerrero Azteca hits you with one of those big banana finger chops, it'll chop you into next week to be sure. Azteca oh, now big old banana picks hands. up Listen, Martin Casals. Casals spinning out of it. And now Casals. Oh, I thought he had him. I thought he had him, ladies and gentlemen. That would have been it. Casals saying I was one inch away. Go from cash it in, Dallas. Belt. Go cash it in. Go win that thing. Ah, oh, never mind. Dallas Murdoch picking the right time. You know he and Cassidy have been putting their heads together, deciding when the best time is for Dallas Murdoch to go after that championship belt. It's called strategy. You don't have strategy. You've just been talking crap too much, thinking you're a badass, and you're going to get popped in your mouth. Watch your language, please, sir. Who do you think you are? Sir, huh? Sir. You, you're the deacon in church. You ain't the deacon here, all right? You don't make the rules. I make the rules. This is Cassidy's house. Quite frankly, I'm not going to argue with that, folks. Cassidy O'Brien sitting just inches away from the Deacon of Doom, and I do not want any piece of Cassidy O'Brien. Looks like Martin Casals now with a side headlock on Guerrero Azteca. Azteca now backs up to the rope, shoots him off. Azteca goes for a hip toss. Nice Jeez. hip toss. How high did he get on that? Like 10 feet in the air? Cassidy, this is great clean wrestling. I like I like what I'm seeing. Oh, and ow, Martin Casals. Should have saw that coming, Azteca. Casals, nice shoulder block by Martin Casals. Azteca goes down again. Azteca with a shoulder block of his own. Casals thought he was cool, went for two, Pfft. done. Casals and Get up, Casals, stop crying. He's not crying. Yeah, he's crying, I see some tears. It's called strategy, Cassidy. How about I have Murdoch go in there and just boot him right in the teeth, how about that? Murdoch, you should go boo him right in the teeth. I love that. Just right there in that big old ugly jowls of uh, Casals there. Of course, that is per <laughs> perfectly legal. That big old chin of his, right? You just break it. It's only legal after this match is over, though, Cassidy. He can't just run into the middle of a match. Hey, what did I tell you? We do what we want. Casals now throwing Azteca Guerrero into the turnbuckle, and Casals misses. Back body Jeez. drops. 
Casals feels the pain of the back body drop, and now Guerrero Azteca shooting Martin Casals off with a nice back elbow, and Casals finds himself on his back again. Another shoot off by Azteca Guerrero. Shades of Dallas Murdoch with a big sidewalk slam. Do we got a li weight limit for that ring? Those big boys in there are going to break that thing. Both of these competitors tonight weighing in around 240 pounds, believe it or not. Yeah, 240, right. Um, uh, Azteca in there, he doesn't look too much in shape. He's looking about 300. And Casals' chin alone weighs 300. Oh, nice. Wait a minute. Casals bringing Azteca out of the ring the hard way. Uh -oh. And Azteca finds himself on the concrete. Uh-oh. Folks, we've seen this before. Oh, made the boyfriends move away from each other. Not going to be happy about Here that one. Here comes Martin. Casals on top of Azteca. Guerrero Azteca. Azteca into the seats. And the crowd loves it. Big boot. Here it comes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> crowd chant. Got you scared. Awesome. Wait hey, a minute. Wait a minute. Pay attention to the ring, dumbass. Looks like. Dallas Murdoch is holding Martin Casals' championship belt, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not about to go take it from him. True champion. We talked about this. True champion. Real champion, Casals. Real champion. Casals looks distracted right now because of Dallas Murdoch and Cassidy O'Brien. Of course, they're right beside me along with the lovely, and I haven't taken a glance over, Paradise sitting right next to, right next to her man. Cassidy O'Brien and now Martin Casals. Yeah, yeah, we got Paradise out here. Casals is over here all jealous. He's like, oh man, I can only get ugly chicks. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I've seen Casals' girlfriend. She's lovely. Casals doesn't have a girlfriend. No girl would put up with him. Nice drop kick by Martin Casals. You think when they go to kiss, he knocks her out with the chin? You think that happens? I'm pretty sure that happens. Martin Casals is a strikingly handsome man, Cassidy. You ever seen Be Beauty and the Beast, Gaston? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Right there, pal. Folks, once again, this is totally unprofessional tonight with Cassidy O'Brien. Oh, it's professional enough. Sunset flip by as Guerrero Azteca. Oh, that's oh. terrible. Nobody wants to see that. Absolutely. We have kids in the audience, Deacon. Casals. Children. Casals, please pull them up. I may have to stop this competition right now. That's one thing we agree on, Cassidy. That's uncalled for. Hey, Dallas, you just go take a little stroll around the ring to see how things are going. Wait a minute. Take your title with you. Your title. Have a seat, Murdoch. Shut up, Deacon. He's doing what he wants. Yes, sir. Just, just go see how he's doing out there. Take that with you just in case you want to cash it in in the middle of it. Casals now taking it to Guerrero Azteca. And, folks, right now Dallas Murdoch is walking around the ring. Uh-oh. Not sure. Uh-oh. Two count on Guerrero Azteca, maybe more like two and a half, almost three. And folks, there he is, Dallas Murdoch, the man who holds that golden certificate. I think we're running out of time, Deacon. We just we need to shut the show off right now. No one cares to see the end of this. Well, I certainly care to see uh. the end of it. This, these are two great competitors, and I'm worried about your tag team partner, Dallas Murdoch, and what he's going to do. Does what he wants. We run the show, man. You're going to learn that sooner or later. Looks, looks like uh, Azteca's bleeding, too. Looks like Azteca's been busted open. Flapjack on Martin Casals, and he may be busted open as well as Dallas Murdoch now strolling around the ring with the utmost confidence, ladies and gentlemen. Casals almost touched the ceiling with that one. Jeez. I'm not sure if either wrestler is going to get up after that one. Guerrero Azteca looks, and there's Dallas Murdoch showing that golden certificate, ladies and gentlemen. He's just getting a feel for things. He's just walking around making sure he might cash it in, he might not. You never know. Cassidy O'Brien, he has one year to cash that in. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you think tonight might be too soon? I don't know. It depends. It's, you got to wait for timing, Deacon. Guerrero Azteca's blood now streaked across the chest of Martin Casals as Casals delivers one of those big thunderous chops. Oh, another oh. chop to Guerrero Azteca. Good slap, good slap. You can't fight like a man. Oh, my, here it comes. Oh. Cassidy, Ow. both you and I have felt those thunderous banana-like chops, just like Martin Casals is. I think they, his hands are fake. There's no way they could be that big without being fake. They sting, but believe me, <laughs> excuse me, folks, it'll cause your heart to stop for a split second. Double. Ow. <laughs> Jimmy Snuka. Snook a like chop on Martin Casals, and he finds himself in the center of the ring, ladies and gentlemen, as Guerrero Azteca beginning to exact some offense of his own on Martin Casals. 
Nice suplex by Guerrero Azteca. And look at this, Azteca. Spit it over. Once oh, again. We're going for a triple, we're going for a triple. Azteca's bleeding pretty good out there though. Nice reversal. Nice reversal. Oh, there's that German suplex that Martin Casals. Oh, he's loves going to for go triple to. too, huh? Absolutely. Casals with one German, two Germans. And will he get that third German on Guerrero Azteca tonight? And folks, if he does, it could be the end of the night for Guerrero Azteca. Azteca now showing some strength of his own. He powers out. Big elbow on Casals. <laughs> Nice suplex, the third one of his own now on Martin Casals. And both competitors, Cassidy, seem to be spent at this point. I and think Casals is done. You got to think that Dallas Murdoch, as he continues to look on, is wondering. That point in the match where you got to deep down, uh, look deep down inside and note if you can get through it, Casals doesn't have that. Casals gives up. When things get hard, Casals quits. I'm not sure that I buy that. I've seen him go against all of Okay, odds. he acts hurt. Sorry. Oh, my ankle. That was a legitimate break, Cassidy, a legitimate <laughs> break. Oh, Deacon, you're such a softy. Come on, get with the real times. Ask Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was right there. Yeah, Stone Cold, he just had to play the political route there. He knew Casals didn't have it in him. He was glad Casals faked an injury. Guerrero Azteca now, that crimson mask beginning to flow out of the mouth and nose of Guerrero Azteca. Casals now trying to... Trying to fight out of this sleeper-like hold that Guerrero Azteca has on Martin Casals. Folks, we said it before, we'll say it again. When you don't have oxygen, ladies and gentlemen, I don't care how big you are, how strong you are, how great you are in the ring, you're going to run out of gas. Well, it looks like that boot's going to that bloody nose of Azteca because Casals is done. Well, I'm not sure if he's done. He is a fighting champion, to say the least. A little last burst of energy, and he's going to sleep. I don't think so, because Sal's fighting his way up, ladies and gentlemen. Those stupid fans keep cheering for him. I'm getting tired of that. The That's stupid, getting old. Stupid fans pay your salary, Cassidy. Uh, I get paid either way, sir. If the, if the fans aren't here, we don't make money. Close line. Another it's close called line. guaranteed. I don't need these stupid fans. Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. Here's Martin Casals. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the finisher of Martin Casals. It's over. It is over. Ring the bell. It's not over. He's cashing in right now. He's know. going in there. He's Ladies getting in there. He's going to win that title. And, and never mind. UCW Zero Heavyweight Champion, Martin. Casals. What's up, Casals? Casals don't want none of that. You understand me, Deacon? Folks, I'm going to ask Cassie, my broadcast partner, to please be seated during this time. He's you shut your up. mouth. Looks like. Dallas Murdoch has got the belt. Somebody. I'm getting out of here. I'm done with you, Deacon. Have I'm going to come seat. slap you around after I get done slapping Casals around. Listen, Dallas Murdoch, ladies and gentlemen, needs to put that belt down. And now my broadcast partner, Cassidy O'Brien, is leaving the broadcast booth with a lovely paradise. This could be it. He could be, ladies and gentlemen, he could be cashing that in right now. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep the cameras rolling, ladies and gentlemen. As DJ Fuego now hands the belt, the belt of Martin Casals over to Martin. And Martin now, in a gesture of good sportsmanship, is going over to Guerrero Azteca, who unfortunately has been busted open. And folks, it looks like tonight's not going to be the night. It looks like tonight's not going to be the night that Dallas Murdoch is going to cash in that golden certificate. But folks, he's got a microphone, so we're going to keep it right here just for a second, just in case. Great show of sportsmanship by Martin Casals, making sure that his, his opponent tonight is getting out of the ring. And folks, you can't see this, but it looks like Dallas Murdoch and Cassidy O'Brien are, are staring down Casals, and they threaten to get in the ring, and Casals raises that belt. Go ahead, Dallas. Cut the music. Get in the ring. Wait a minute. Dallas has Cut something to say. In case you forgot... Right there says I get you anytime I want. That's true. You guys want it right now? You want it? Folks, not on your time. The South looks ready. Only on my time, big guy, and it's not tonight. Not tonight, says Dallas Murdoch. Not tonight. Casals begging, 
Dallas Murdoch to get in the ring, but he has not approached referee, senior referee John Godfrey to start this match. And in fact, I think the referee is, I don't see him right now in the arena. He may have gone back to the back. Cassidy and Murdoch now taunting Martin Casals, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my. Cassidy O'Brien, of course, referring to Martin Casals' WWE chances. That, that tough enough run that he had broke his ankle, of course, getting out of the ring. Folks, we've had lots of great wrestling action here tonight. I am the Deacon of Doom for my former broadcast partner, Cassidy O'Brien. We're going to say good night from Salt Lake City, Utah, folks. We'll see you next time right here at UCW Zero Wrestling.